Hi, welcome back to section six, lesson three. Let's go ahead and let's look at directory service connector. So what is the role of directory service connector? The directory service connector, DSC, is responsible for retrieving user information, which is related to end users from variety of sources. And this includes, but not limited to, Active Directory, LDAP, ODBC, and custom users. DSC is used to keep track of users, and it also takes care of all the management tasks that involves users, for example, license management. And it doesn't matter whether you use DMS or Windows Active Directory. Without DSC, we cannot assign licenses, and we cannot perform reloads with section access in some cases. So what are the other services which communicate with DSC? QDS, which stands for ClickView Distribution Service. This uses DSC to look up email addresses and user IDs during distribution phase. The management service uses it to help the administrator find users and groups within QMC. So how do we debug DSC? Thankfully, we have log files for DSC. By default, DSE log files are stored in program data, click tech, and directory service connector logs. So let me quickly log on to the server. Okay, I'm on the server. Let me click on QMC. Let's make sure that all the services are running. So let's go ahead and click on status. And look at the services. Yes, all of them are running, which is perfect. So let's see the folder location for DSE logs. Click on start. Click on computer, C drive, and then you will see the program data. If you see the program data folder color is slightly fainted yellow compared to other folders, this is because this is a hidden folder. Just in case if you don't see this folder, all you have to do is Control T or you can click on tools and then click on folder options and then click on view. And if you see an option here, show hidden files, folders, drives, so if I select don't show, click on apply, you see that the program data folder has disappeared. So in your case, if you don't see it, all you have to do is come to the same screen and then click on show hidden files folders and then click on apply and OK. OK, so under program data, now let's go ahead and look at click tech. Under click tech, we are interested in the directory service connector log files. So let me click on this and then click on logs and you will see the log files related to DSC, right? So you can see the information. So this is very useful information for any kind of debugging, right? In fact, by default, the logs are saved in the program data folder. Just in case, if you have to move the log files to a different location, you don't have an option to do that on QMC, but you do have an option to change the log file location using the exe.config file, which contains the log file path. So let me show you where that config file is. Click on computer again, C drive, and let's go on to program files, click view, and then you see directory service connector, and then you see the .exe.config file. So if you open this file, either using notepad or notepad++, and you can change the log files default path. So going back to QMC, let me click on system and then let's go ahead and click on directory service connector and then click on the plus sign here and then we see the service name and then we also have the list. And then if I go ahead and click on general, you see that there are three levels of logging. You can see that there are three levels of logging. By default, it's in normal logging mode, but if required for tracing, you can set it as, as a debug logging mode, and you can disable that back by selecting normal logging, right? So I hope it made sense about the directory service connector. So just to give you a quick summary, think about directory service connector as a service which handles security within your ClickView server setup. So in the next lesson, we'll look at ClickView management service. Until then, thank you.